Egg finals, and we'll see his world ranking rocket. No doubt, he's 145 in the world right now, Zmodenko. He's been as higher here in the men's singles final. Love one. We know the threat of the Ugo Calderano forehand and backhand. He's a high toss server and he's credible. There we see it in the counter top spin down the line. Career result, Calderano. Two, nice positive return there from Zmodenko. Spots Calderano going along with the serve and pivots immediately. To play a comp. Was wrong footed there. And an unreturnable net cord. Calderano is a player that serves with a lot of spin. You can use the spin against him in some ways. Little man of the sport, Calderano. With his handstands, backflips, beach volleyball ability, solving a Rubik's Cube in I don't know how many seconds, but more than I can do. That's What a flick. The Chiquita covering to the Brazilian. Too strong there from Calderano to disguise where he's going. Ooh, and that's an, a late quiz. Good away from the table. You see it on his Instagram, his ability to lob a canned winner from away from the table. It's an absolute mad thing. Eight, three. Four, eight. Mm. Four, nine. He will kill you. Kill you. Ten, four. Well, the level is just seemingly different class right now from Calderano. Zmodenko really, really has his work cut out here against them in this men's singles final. The top seed, they do go Calderano with the serves. Love one. Obstructs. And he reads the game very well, the Ukrainian. So powerful. One, two. He's just one. We have not seen backhands like that this event. Calderano is the man responsible for the blow. And it's that trademark silhouette sporting 3 1 lead. Four, one. Times. But he's playing the medium toss right now. One, five. Against Shmodenko. Two, five. Down the line that he has that is just so lethal. Six, two. And trial. Six, three. Decent receive, lukewarm. Three, seven. Is too hot to handle right now. Here he is, Calderano. Oh, and when are you ever safe? I'm very jealous of Mounier for being able to watch so many cracking rallies coaching a player like Hugo. That's way too strong. Even wider. 9-4. Oh, a fade. Better fade than a Turkish barber. Look at that. Oh. I mean, Zmodenko has done remarkably well to even get here. Five, ten. Seven final, not a best of five. But Calderano right now has Tunis beating Alexis Lebrun. And now he's halfway there. And he wants to be a world champion. He needs to be winning these contenders. And he'll be thinking that. Two, love. He hasn't got that much time. He'd have to work with me for about 30 years to help me improve, I tell you. Three, of this event because she didn't expect him to get here. Love. 
See on here, it's got his name written all over it so far. He's blocking the ball. Blocking Calderano's view of Love 5. Absolute whirlwind. Eat my dust, says Calderano. Half long push and that counter, that faded counter against someone like a Hadamoto or a Lin Win Ru just to see how he gets on. Because I mean in terms of Ugo's shot making ability, he's got every shot in the catalogue, but sometimes you'll him. But if he channels it better, I don't see why he couldn't be a world number one one day. Even with the likes of Wang Chu of those players. Seven. Have his eyes towards the World Championships, which will be here in Durban. Eight, two. Of bat on ball, just to get more of his rotation, more spin on it. Nine, two. I mean, that's too good. Absolutely obliterates that ball, and I'm surprised it hasn't cracked. But what I will say is, and I think Charles Moregard himself really summed it up well when he lost the five gold, I won silver. And Smudenko should think that too. Well, Clips the edge on the first point there, the Ukrainian. Now, still not easy to, to beat a player of Yaroslav. He's still got opportunities to prove himself a little bit more than what he has in this final. One all. Two, one. It's 2 1 up here, and it's still. <sighs> the difference in recovery and power here is very evident. Calderano just becoming an absolute blur of yellow, like the sun just beaming out here on table one. Really, really showing any energy. He's just leaving everything out here on the table. Good uh, reaction from Zmudenko, and it went right into the middle of Ugo, who could not come out of the table to recover for that. A little bit of fortune, because you're not going to make that shot too often. This would propel him up to the world's top five again. Liang Jin Quinn. Sits above him, big fatty, China, although he's under scrutiny at the moment. And Trolls Moragard sits in player on the planet. Ball. And that. Five. Nice slow spin for, to give himself the space and time to play those blasting balls. Now he tries it, but pinned him well there. Very direct. Modenko, because he was two all in the round of 16 with Jules Roland. But then, I mean, he went on an absolute kill streak. He beat Aruna 3 0 and then Gozi 3 1. Oh, well. You know Jonevich Mudenko did all he could there. I think I've only commentated one. Eight, seven. In fact, no, it was WTT final go 4-0. Not far from double happiness for Zmudenko, net edge. Tried to just get it a little bit wider, but Calderano in these loop to loop. Ridiculous pace on that ball. I think the change of balls really helped Ugo Calderano from celluloid to plastic. Because Well, at the scoreline here, looking like a 4-0. I've just remembered the Contender Budapest 2021 final as well. UTT title. Let's. 
Yaroslav Zmodenko serving for survival here. And it's a fantastic way to finish. Hugo Calderano wraps things up here in Durban, goes over to Mounier in the corner for a warm full embrace. And he's beaten the underdog, Yaroslav Zmodenko, who's had a brilliant tournament. And I think that facial reaction of Hugo says it all. Well done.